Um, uh, nature exists. Um, if there's an argument against that, uh, I haven't heard it. To argue that naturalism, therefore, is correct simply uh, requires the additional view that none of the positive arguments for supernaturalism work. To declare that supernaturalism cannot be proven false is in itself not a positive argument for supernaturalism. I now, made that Dr. Point Shook, uh, from those two premises that nature exists and that there is no bridge to an, a supernatural reality, do you really think that it follows that nature is all there is? Uh, that is the most reasonable conclusion well, remaining so far. By what logical far. rule of inference does that follow? It seems to me that from those two premises all that follows is we don't know if there is something beyond nature. Hmm. Let me try an analogy. Suppose uh, to, to see how my reasoning process works, let me try an analogy. Suppose you have a large sum of money you wish to invest, and I'm a broker, and I'm telling you the stock market's going up and up and up and up and up, and you say to me, well, now look, I'm pretty happy with my bank uh, checking account. My money's really safe. Uh, give me several positive good reasons for investing it in the stock market. And I proceed to give you one after another really weak in your judgment argument. And after you get past the third or fourth one, you stop me and you say, no, I'm not going to additionally try to put my money in the stock market. I don't want my money there. You haven't given me enough good reasons. Okay, no, so the naturalist is somebody who no, wait, wait, retains look, belief exactly in nature. This exactly illustrates my point. That person has not given you reasons to believe the stock market is going up. But that doesn't allow you any way logically to conclude that therefore the stock market isn't going to go up or that it's going to go down. You, you simply have to withhold right. judgment. You see, I, it seems to me your, uh, your, your reasoning here is, is logically invalid. Uh, no, it's not logically invalid. It's simply conservative. I'm very conservative with my money. Uh, well, well, let's, let's talk. Uh, let, let me again try to explain very briefly without taking up your valuable time. Uh, look, uh, suppose your stockbroker said, well, why are you so hesitant to invest money in the stock market? After all, you can't prove that the stock market won't go up. Should you say, well, come a day, I'm getting rich. I can't prove <laughs> the stock market well, isn't going up. I'm going to get rich. Come on, doc, look, Dr. Shook, that's, uh, Dr. Shook, that's unwise let, Dr. Shook, please, let, look, let's be serious. The point is, the, the, the point is, I, the, I assure from, you, I'm serious from about the money. lack of evidence that the market will go up, it does not follow that therefore the market will not go up. I just but it doesn't to that, follow yes. that it's going to go down. You, you, I, I agree with that And yet naturalism entirely. is the view that there is nothing beyond the physical world on your definition and you admit you cannot prove that by reason, no, science and no, experience. You're, you're manipulating words. A naturalist is convinced that nature exists. Okay? R so am I. You're asking the naturalist to additionally believe in the existence of the supernatural and the naturalist is simply saying give me some good enough positive arguments. That's not now, the definition of naturalism you the, give. Your, na your definition of naturalism is that there's nothing beyond the physical world, that there's nothing in addition to matter and energy, there are no supernatural realities. And the absence of evidence for those leaves you at best with agnosticism, not with naturalism. Naturalism oh. cannot establish its oh, own it's worldview. Quite right. It's unfortunate that we're back to debating terminology instead of reality. Uh, look, um, it, this business of agnosticism is a bit odd. Suppose I were to say, the reason why I uh, don't believe in the supernatural is because, uh, you know, I have not enough good reasons to believe in it. Now, does this make me an agnostic or an atheist? In a weird sort of way, I'm both. They're not necessarily mutually exclusive terms. An agnostic is somebody who cannot prove that supernaturalism is false. But again, that in and of itself is not a positive reason to go ahead and jump into the But has anybody offered in tonight's something? debate the claim that because you can't show supernaturalism to be false, therefore you should believe in supernaturalism? Who has argued that tonight? Well... <laughs> Nobody! Uh, I've, I've given five when, positive when arguments for supernaturalism, tonight, and we've not heard uh, any positive arguments for naturalism. All you have said is that my arguments fail, but that doesn't serve to establish that 
that the material world is the only reality there is. There could be something beyond it. There could be something beyond it, and I've already all told right. you it might be more nature. <laughs> For all you know or anybody that's, that's knows, self I don't need if the it, supernatural. If it's more nature, it's not beyond it, right? That's a self-contradiction, uh, friends. Those who say that there may be more nature beyond it, it's still nature. That's, that doesn't, uh, doesn't say there is something beyond nature.